In Blackout, there are many different ways to grind cash, one of the methods being the most superior. Now, I've been testing the game for around a month, and as you can tell, I did a good amount of grinding. So in this video, I'll show you guys the quickest way to become a millionaire. By the end of the video, you should be able to have an easy time getting the same amount of cash as me. Also, a little disclaimer, if you have not yet played the tutorial for the game, I highly request you do. The gameplay will be 10 times easier. Anyways, what you first want to do is you want to get 500 cash. Now, now, for a lot of people starting off the game, I think in your stash you will have $10,000 so you could withdraw it from the $10,000 but for some reason if you guys have zero in your stash, what you want to do is you want to loot like duffel bags and like briefcases around the map I guess you could call them. You want to loot them but you want to find lockpicks. Now lockpicks are going to be incredibly easy to find and they are probably one of the most useful things in the game since you could do a lot of stuff with it. I found a lockpick in one of these, okay they're called cases so. Yeah, there's two main things you want to loot. You want to loot registers that gives you even more lockpicks and cash. Registers in general, they just give you a lot of loot. And you want to be robbing safes like these. These safes give you a decent amount of loot. Like I got a tomahawk from it. So those are the things you generally want to look after. But sometimes these safes are like a hit and miss because this one only gave me a bandage. But they still give me a decent amount of cash. Also, you might be asking what are valuables on the left side of my screen. You need to look on your minimap to see where there's a B at. As you see, there's a B right in front of us, which is a broker. And when I hover over him, it shows a arrow pointing down, which means he is below us. So there he is. You can start a conversation with them. They'll give you a bunch of options, but if you want to trade in your valuables, use the fourth option that says turn in some valuables, and then he turns all your valuables into cash. So we looted for a bit, and now I have 1.5k, which is well enough. Which brings us to this guy again. So once again, you need to find B on your minimap to find a broker, and we're actually gonna do something a bit exciting. We're going to be doing missions. Now missions by far is such a good way to grind cash in this game. Well, let's just talk to this guy first. So we're gonna pick, got any work to do around here? And he says, got a list of jobs right here. You want to know more? Ask away. And there's a bunch of jobs to choose from, which is all really cool, but we want to grind cash. So one of the best missions to do that is restocking. Now, what the broker says is that you will deliver some supplies for a merchant. This is some fragile stuff, so you better be careful with it. Now, the things I need is just one player, which is me, and 500 starting cash. And the rewards, I get 2,500 in my stash, which is pretty nice. So... Let's do the job. On the left side of my screen, it says make a delivery with minimal damage. And my destination is not that far. Usually they're pretty far, but uh, this one is like right next to us. So. And we just, and yeah, that's, that's how you do the mission. Also, there's a cap for how much missions each broker has. So next to restocking, there's a six. That means there's only six missions for restocking left. Now, there's actually a cooldown for each mission you could do, so you can't do restocking again. It said I have done this task too many times, so we're going to move on to another mission we could do in the meantime. And this mission is money collection. So it's sort of the same thing, but this time I get minus five rep, which just means that your reputation will go lower and you'll be able to join the vulture team. So we're at our destination. Talk to the civilian to retrieve the money. So I'm going to talk to him. Who are you? The vulture sent me. Haven't you taken enough already? What more do you want from me? Hand it over. I've had enough of this. And yeah, just start shooting you. Gets all mad. Wait, oh, dodge that swing. And then we bring the money back to him. And we completed the task. You want to be taking advantage of as many quests you could do because this allows you to just get a lot more cash quicker and just get used to the game. I want you guys to keep doing those quests and then once you have enough in your stash, I want you guys to find an M on your map which stands for merchant. And once you have enough cash in your stash, I want you to unlock a gun that has serious armor penetration like the Deagle for example. The Deagle's penetration is 35% which is pretty good, pretty good and so I'm gonna be unlocking that. Now, once you've done all of that, we're actually at the area we need to be in, which is the military base. Now, this base is located on the top left of the map, so it's always gonna be in this area. This is the main method of getting in. You could just jump from here. Now, why this area is so special? Uh-oh, there's one right there. 
as I was saying, this place is pretty special because guards spawn, like military guards. And if you kill them, they drop key cards for certain places. Now, key cards are really important because they allow you to raid places, such as the bunker, for example. And you probably now know why we need a gun with a lot of penetration. It's because these guards, they have really good armor, so they don't die, like, quick. Especially since you're trying to solo. Okay, that guy sucked. He did not drop a key card. Nice. And there's also these crates you can find around the military base. These crates also give you pretty good loot, like gas masks, which we do need. So make sure you guys loot these crates around the military base in order to get gas masks. They are really important. Whoa, MP5? I've honestly never seen an MP5 spawn here before, so that's a decent gun. I'm gonna drop some stuff for that. So yeah, once again, you do get some early game loot in here, which is really nice. Now I do recommend you playing with friends in order to make this part really easy, but you can also solo it. You just need to take your time. Okay, there's a guy right there. Oh, he has a shotgun. I might actually back up. <gasps> Ooh, I need to back up. Oh, I got all of them aggroed. It's like I... Oh, how did they get aggroed? And if you do really struggle against them, you can always just climb these roofs. So yeah, that's one way to cheese it. Once again, when you kill them, they'll drop certain key cards. So this one, I got a purple key card, which is the key card you need to get out of here with. Level up, let's go. But to get out of here, once you have your purple key card, you just want to keep bashing the door. Now, there are a couple crates in here that you can unlock, but uh, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to leave this place. So once you have your purple key card, you'll just hover over this and then just press it. And then two gates open. You can either leave over there or over there. There's also another area where you can leave over there, which is nice. But this area only has one guard watching it, so... Now they'll keep chasing you, so you're gonna have to kill them. Now you wanna keep grinding the military base until you have an orange key card, which I picked up off of one of them. You could get many different key cards, but in my opinion, the orange key card is the best one because that unlocks a new area where we will be getting to in a sec. And do you remember earlier how I told you guys to make sure that you get these gas masks? They are also going to be really important too. But I'm actually going to treat myself to an M4 because this part is actually pretty difficult if you don't have a team. I'm actually going to get more gas masks since the gas masks have a durability and will break if you stay in it for too long. But yeah, now we're going to head to the science lab and we're going to be raiding that. Now, the science lab is really good because it contains so much OP loot and it contains so much cash and valuables in it. So definitely bring a couple of your friends along if you're gonna raid this place. Now, just because it has a lot of loot doesn't mean it's not dangerous. So yeah, let's raid this place. Now you're gonna be in this like SCP type hallway and this is gonna be a bunch of guards already, so. And I'm actually just gonna mollow it. Just run back a bit. Oh, I need to reload. You gotta be quick too because the cracks start coming out of your gas mask. And you wanna be looking for big crates, so like these. Oh, there's a, there's a guy right there. Can I loot it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Nice. That's a lot. I'm gonna have to mall again. gonna run back but you see the amount of loot that's in here it's crazy there's a bunch of them right here i'm gonna switch out my mask yeah the loot here is insane actually now just because i'm playing solo i couldn't loot as much and i think it's gonna close pretty soon so gotta get out and yeah it just closes up just like that but as you could tell we came out with some pretty good loot i got an ak we got a lot of throwables we got a bunch of cash now so yeah overall pretty successful raid and that's how i basically became rich in blackout subscribe